Hey, hey guys, and what's up, TFS? It's your girl, Fun Size, and I'm back with another fun creation. Welcome back to my podcast, Self-ish, where we learn how to boost our self-confidence by breaking bad habits and unlearning what we were taught growing up. I'm your favorite mindset and accountability coach, Budar photographer, and certified body image coach. So without any more hesitation, let's jump into today's show. Okay, family, welcome back to the podcast. Today, I am literally going to finally teach you guys how to create a routine. Not only how to create the routine, but how creating a routine and developing resilience can build self-discipline and boost your self-confidence. In today's episode, we'll be discussing the importance of maintaining a routine and how it can actually lead to a more disciplined life. We will also explore the concept of resilience and how it can help you overcome obstacles and challenges that actually come your way. Now, we all know what a routine in resilience is, but for those of us who do not know, we'll start right there. A routine is a set of actions or habits that you perform on a regular basis. It can include anything from waking up at the same time every day to exercising to setting aside time for work or leisure activities. By sticking to a routine, you establish a sense of structure and order in your life. This in turn helps you to develop self-discipline as we stress on this podcast and as you learn to prioritize your time and focus on what is important. Resilience, though, is the ability to bounce back from setbacks and challenges. It is an essential skill to have in life as it allows you to preserve in the face of adversity. Developing resilience can be done through a variety of means such as practicing mindfulness, building a support network such as my Facebook group, which is the Lions Queen, I'm sorry, which is the Lens Queen private community. I don't know why the hell I said Lions Queen, but it's the Lens Queen private community where our liberated, empowered, nurturing sisters decided to quit using excuses and started elevating their mindsets by nurturing self-care and self-love. So they are also reframing negative thoughts when it comes to resilience and its ability to bounce back from setbacks and challenges. But today's show, we are literally learning that by combining a routine with resilience, you can build self-confidence. And when you have a routine in place, you feel more in control of your life, which can help to boost your self-esteem. And additionally, by developing resilience, you can learn to overcome obstacles and challenges, which can give you a sense of um, accomplishment and make you feel more confident in your own abilities. And of course, I have another level up activity for us to help boost our mental toughness, which is a book by Michelle Rubiro, which we went over in an earlier podcast. And Exercise 9 is perfect for today's show because she's literally teaching us how to create a morning routine. Now, I have my night routine down pat along with my morning routines, but today we're specifically going to get help and tips and tricks on how to create a morning routine that is actually effective so we can actually be the well-rounded individuals we're trying to become as we stress on all of our shows so michelle starts off by saying the simplest way to stay motivated consistently is to eliminate the need for motivation in other words remove the hurdle of having to repeatedly summon the willpower to do something by making it a regular schedule or routine a routine ensures your behavior is consistent and automatic and that you never i'm sorry and that you're never left wondering how or when you should get started Again, we already went over the definition of what a routine is, and we said a routine is a set of actions or habits that you perform on a regular basis. So, a routine ensures your behavior is consistent and automatic and that you're never left wondering how or when you should get started. This efficiency frees up mental space to concentrate on more important things. How many times have you heard about the routines of the world's most successful people? Most notably, the way they spend their morning days in and day out seems to be of utmost importance. No matter what, they never compromise their routine. If you want to reap the full benefits of whatever routine you're creating for yourself, you've got to stick with it. Usually centered on productivity and health, a successful morning ritual lays the foundation for the rest of the day. And I'm literally going to give you guys an example of my morning routine. And in another podcast, I told you guys that I set alarms and I honor those alarms to help my self-love journey. 
part of my morning routine is literally waking up at 6.15 to do my morning worship and give praise to the Lord. By 8 o'clock, my alarm goes off saying that it's motivation hour. I'm in a bathroom. I'm brushing my teeth. I'm listening to motivational podcasts. That's literally a podcast named Motivational Speech. So I definitely will add that in for you guys in the uh, voice notes as well. So you can feel free to check that out. But part of my morning routine is literally honoring the fact that I do not look at my phone before 12 o'clock because I am accustomed to being the one who has to be the sole helper for the people who are around me that I literally have to make sure in the morning I am giving myself the replenishing energy that I need. I have to fill my cup back up with joy and listening to those podcasts, brushing my teeth, putting on my head wrap so I can protect my locks and put on my face scrub and then I literally turn around and do my moisturizing and I'm literally doing all of this during my morning podcast because it's part of my morning routine and literally I then jump into my workout clothes my alarm is going off by 9 15 saying you need to be getting ready for your workout right after that part of the morning routine my 10 o'clock goes off saying you should be done your workout you need to start getting ready to get in the shower and eat something literally my alarms all go off saying this if you have an android phone even I don't even know if iPhones do it but I've only set up my android devices I do have apple devices Devices. But I know for a fact Android allows you to customize your alarms so they can literally go off and read out loud what you want them to say. So at 9 a.m., my alarm goes off and it says, good morning, queen. It's time to get the day started. And then right after that, my 915 comes in and it says, it's time to do a workout. And I am literally allowed to customize those voice notes that when they talk, they can literally play music right afterwards. So in the morning, I have the praise and worship going on right after that one for motivational hour. Sorry about that. I don't know why everybody want to be active today. But yes, they go off for motivational hour. I have the podcast playing and I even sometimes listen to my own podcast during my workouts because like I told you guys, I'm literally doing all of this for you guys, but more so so I can be an accountability partner, an accountability partner. I literally say accountability partner, accountability partner for myself because I'm bullying myself to hold myself accountable. So I am my own accountability partner. So my morning routine is not getting changed for any. Anybody. I'm staying consistent with it and literally I tell myself do not check my phone by a certain time because I know all of that energy that's coming in is not mine it's someone else's and I'm just reaping the downfall or for lack of words having the short end of the stick of catching it so definitely cannot stress that enough uh, your morning routines are usually centered on productivity and health a successful morning ritual lays the foundation for the rest of the day even more, it provides a sense of predictability and calm in a chaotic and unpredictable world. It's also the perfect opportunity to make sure you carve out time to pursue your passion every single day. And then she goes into taking it to the next level. So when she says take it to the next level, this is when you pull out your journal. And I mean, you should already have your journal taking out notes, hitting the pause button, going back and forth with doing what you need to do to get that self-help. So you can be the well-rounded individual that you are trying to become. But... When you hear take it to the next level on these shows moving forward, this is literally when you are responsible for doing the work. So take the time and actually have some accountability and do the inner work. So take it to the next level. I'm going to literally read what she had for you guys along with the six notes that she literally lists out so you can actually learn how to create that morning routine. So take it to the next level. To develop a customized morning routine, first decide what it is you hope to accomplish. Is it important that you get work out. I'm sorry, is it important that you get a workout in, yes it is, or that you work on a personal creative project? Or do you want to use this time to organize your day? Determine the non-negotiables that you want to make time for every single day. For inspiration, here are some of the key elements of a successful morning routine. Get your pen, get your journal if you ain't already got it, go on and get your water break. You're new to the channel, you have no idea what the hell that means. When I yell water break, that means I'm taking a break, so you should take a break and replenish yourself, okay? Okay. All right, I'm back, so let's jump into it. Here are some of the key elements of a successful morning routine. One, it energizes you and wards off stress. Consider meditation, physical exercise, or positive affirmations. Like I told you guys, around 8 a.m., my alarm goes off. Don't ask me why I'm about to say p.m. P 
p.m. goes off too, but that's just my reminder to close down for the day. My business is closed and I ain't got time to be looking at my phone no more. But my morning routine literally consists of meditation during my workouts and all of that. I literally take two minutes to meditate during a cool down. I listen to a mindful meditation music. As I've stressed in the previous podcast, if it is hard for you to start off with yoga and meditating and actually getting things that actually motivates you to want to sit down and actually achieve that goal, I'll stop saying actually. Then what you need to do is go back to a previous podcast where we learned how to beat procrastination in five minutes. Number two, it helps you gain clarity. Consider journaling, practicing gratitude, or setting intentions. Three, it helps you gain control over your day. Consider prioritizing your tasks, structuring your day, or planning your meals. Four, it allows you to carve out time for your passions, personal projects. Consider reading, painting, playing an instrument, anything important to you that may easily get pushed aside as your day gets more hectic and demanding. Five, it helps you reach your goals. Consider working on your most important goals for even just a few minutes. Six, it eliminates decision making. Follow the same routine consistently at the same time every day. The ritual of setting aside time for yourself every day will help you maintain the motivation to achieve more than you thought was possible. And literally by doing these six steps, you can literally learn how to create a morning routine that is actually successful for you during your self-love journey. So in conclusion, creating a routine and developing that resilience are two powerful tools that can help you build self-discipline and boost your self-confidence. So by establishing a routine and practicing resilience, you can take control of your life and overcome any obstacles that come your way. And I literally have only that for that on the show for today. So thank you for listening to our podcast, and we hope that you found the information helpful. Nonetheless, I'm going to add in the outro, and before I even add in the outro, what I want to do is literally ask you the same question that we asked previously in the beginning, but we we, we didn't even really put too much thought into it. Have you listened to the podcast on how to beat procrastination in five minutes? And if you haven't listened to that podcast, I strongly recommend you go look, well, go listen to it. I won't say go look at it because I didn't do a YouTube video for it. But go look at it because it literally gives you steps, three significant steps on how to beat procrastination in five minutes. And like I said, hopefully you learned something from this podcast as a takeaway. And if you are looking for more ways to fall in love with your self-love journey and you don't want to wait for a podcast, check me out over on my YouTube channel at Fun Size Creations, where you can see me and all of my facial expressions and my shenanigans. You can also check me out over on TikTok at Fun Size Photography, so you can check out some of my portfolio work as well as I'm getting everything together with teaching you guys how to boost your self-confidence through creating self-discipline. So literally, that's the end of this podcast. I'll leave it right there, even though I'm going to add the outro right about now. With that being said, guys, if you are looking for help on your self-love journey, you are looking for an accountability partner or someone who can actually give you that little push that makes you feel like, if I just had that little bit of help, that little bit of energy, that little bit of courage, that step-by-step program and process that can help me, you are in the right place. And I want to say thank you for being a part of this team. With that being said, guys, I'm going to end this off. I'll end off all of my videos by saying, be you, do you, and be true. But more importantly, remember, learn to love yourself before trying to love someone else. Get out of here and do one thing today that will get you out your comfort zone because somebody has to say it. Later for now, guys. And brrr.